right, people, I am excited for this video because it's been a while, honestly, since we did a vinyl record unboxing, but in this video, it's a bit more special because we'll be unboxing two of my favorite artists ever vinyls. Now, in the background, you guys know in my display, I have my records. This is only a partial collection of all the vinyls that I have, and we have the shelf for my good sis Taylor Swift, which whenever she finally drops, the tortured chorus department that vinyl will probably go in the middle but for now we have folklore and midnights now i actually have two editions of midnights so we're going to be unboxing both of those and folklore but as you can see from the title we're not just focusing on taylor swift i just want to do something special so we're doing two artists and a total of five vinyls today we're also going to be unboxing all of my lana del rey vinyls that i have on the shelf i obviously also have um paradise but i feel like we've already unboxed that a while ago because I checked my collection and it's unpackaged. So I don't know what I did that, but apparently I did. Um, so yeah, we've got one, two, three, four, five vinyls to unbox by Taylor Swift, Lana Del Rey. Let's get right into it. So we're gonna be starting with folklore just because I've said this before, but I was not a huge fan of folklore or evermore before I went to the Ares tour. But then I saw the meaning of the songs by her actions, by the stage, the settings, the dancing. It kind of all finally came together whenever I was at the Ayers tour and Folklore quickly this past year became one of my favorite uh, Taylor Swift albums besides Midnight's and obviously Reputation. So I am definitely a huge fan of her ballads and writing, which is why I'm so excited to react to the Torture Poets Department for you guys. But we're just gonna start off by opening up the vinyl like so i don't know someone explained so everyone says i need to keep these little stickers that are on the packaging i don't see why but apparently they're special so we're gonna try to preserve it anyways you can see on the back it's taylor and the track list i love this whole vibe it's just so like peaceful even though the the album is fucking depressing the album is pain but it sounds beautiful and that's all that matters obviously this is the cover we love folklore okay now let's just rip it. Bam. <sighs> like drugs. I'm just joking. I've never done drugs. Yes. Okay. Vinyl. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Now let's. Oh, body. Miss Taylor, Miss Allison, Miss Swift. Look at that. It's giving 1950s housewife. I love the whole outfit and the hair too, and the angle. She's such like a visionary. It's giving cottage core, her and her Birkenstock, stomp a bitch out. Okay, I love that. It feels very thick and I can tell that there's things on each side, which tells me that the budget is high. Billionaire coming, ooh. Okay, so. We have the track list again, but this time with the lyrics. I just love the way that it's like presented, kind of like a newspaper almost. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my God, I thought this was black and white, but it's like green. I don't know if you can tell on camera. Jesus, the attention to detail and the different uh, photos. Where was this taken? What field? What, what little cabin is she in? Oh, okay, here we go. No, before we, before we pull out the actual record and see what it looks like, I wanna do the other side. There's two sides to this story. Okay, again, we have the green with the track list and the lyrics. Executive producer, Taylor Swift. She's like, she's an icon. I feel like for any artist coming up or um, pursuing music or things like that who wants to get into the industry, I feel like she's one of those artists that is like the pinnacle and the peak of where you want your career to go. She's she's doing the damn thing and I respect her so much. I just I just saw this the center of the the LPs is what is usually special as well as the color and this one not so much the color but the center is beautiful. It's like a poop brown, I'm not going to lie. It's given C diff, but the center is so pretty. Like they did not spare a second. So this is side three and side four. And I'm wondering if side one and two are the same or if they're gonna be different. I don't know if I showed you guys the 
time. She's like the detail. They did not skimp out on this and I really appreciate that. I don't remember how much I spent on this vinyl. Honestly, it does not matter. It's Taylor Swift and I love her vinyls. But like whatever I spent was money well worth. Someone's gonna say, look how she handles her records. I paid for it. I paid for it, did you? No, didn't think so. Okay, so no, side one and two are exactly the same as side three and four. And it's like this, again, diarrhea, C. diff, throw up, green, slash brown. Um, but you guys know, in these episodes, we usually just unbox the vinyl and move on. But for this one, it's gonna be a little different because I'd like to take today's sponsor one by one. One by one gift me this beautiful record player. Now you guys know I usually just collect my vinyls and I haven't been opening them, but now I finally have a reason to. Not only does this record player come with speakers that just wait, you're gonna hear the sound, they're phenomenal. The sound is so crisp but it has all the things I need. I can change the audio, I can stop or play it, I can decrease the speed from 33 to 45. It's so easy to use, so um, beginner user friendly. And look how aesthetically beautiful this thing is. So you just have to come over here and in the back there is a power button. You just press it right there and turn it on and this red light will come on. Now we can test out what the record actually sounds like. I think, honestly, because I played with it before and I was testing it out with all, all my other records, and I feel like the sound quality is even better than what you hear on like streaming platforms. It just feels so much more like you're hearing it live almost. It's beautiful, listen. And just press play. Is that the end? All right, let's see what it plays next. Come on, cardigan. Brand new phone, high heels on. on But you get the gist. The audio, ah, bellissimo. So as you guys can see, that vinyl record player, amazing. If you want to get your own, it's linked in the description and the pinned comment. Thank you, one by one. Okay, on to the next vinyl. For me, all of my cages were mental. Midnights. Wasted like all my potential. She's crazy for freaking saying that. That lyric haunts me. Anyways, like I said, we're unboxing now my orange vinyl of Midnights before we do my lavender one of Midnights. Shout out to Lavender Haze, one of the best songs on the album. So we're just gonna go like we did before, preserving the little sticker deal. Why is it low-key faded? Can you, can, you see what I'm talking about? Not really. This, the, the, the letter, tell me I didn't get a bootleg vinyl. Or is everyone's like this? The, the letters of the tracks looks a little faded to me. But anyways, okay, so we got the front, we got the back, as we all know. She is a billionaire for a reason, buy all four vinyls. I didn't, I bought two. Um. Here's this. The 1970 vibe was cool. I love the retroness of it all. This one only has one um, record. Let me see if there's anything on the inside of here. No, it's just a white little package. Sometimes artists will put like art in there or posters or design it up. Ooh. A leotard, a sparkly leotard at like a retro piano. Cool. Can I ask though, why did we, why were we in the 1970s for this era? When I really think about, I mean, we were at the beach for 1989, so Taylor can really do whatever she wants at this point. I guess, she's already doing it. This is a vibe, I love the like kind of frizzy bang and the big hair. She was just in her 70s depressed era with this midnight shit. Ooh, the record, it's kind of like fluorescent, but it's a beautiful orange. And again, oh, it's not even just orange though, it's like a marble. Do you see that? Oh, that's beautiful. It looks better with the, I don't know, I can't get it very good on camera, but it's literally like an orange marble. And then the center is a clock. That's cool. I don't think there, yeah, there's nothing else inside there. It's literally just the record. Low key, the bare minimum, not gonna lie. Oh, I'm, look at me talking shit. <laughs> there's a whole bunch of posters in here. 
Sorry, Taylor. Oh, it's a book. Okay, I love that skirt. It looks very warm. What keeps you up at night? It's a momentary glimmer of distract. Oh! Oh. It's a spoken word from Taylor. Tiny's notion, notion of reminiscent throughout the wanders, often to wondering the spark of that light uh, to the box of the station. Now it's irreversible. The flame has caught. You're wide awake. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm gonna read that on my own time and cry off camera. Okay, so it's again the the song title tracks, but with like pictures of her. What if I told you not? Whenever I first reacted to this album, I hated Mastermind. But after hearing it again at Ares Tour, I kind of like it more. I'm not going to say what is on my mind with this, but it's giving Las Vegas a wild night. Okay, so that's Midnight's. This is the tangerine version, or whatever it's called, the orange one. Love that for me. Next up, we've got to do the lavender one. Lavender marbled vinyl disc. So I guess they're all supposed to be marble. And now I think this one's gonna be beautiful though with this purple. I hope it's like a light purple. Ugh. Speaking of purple, I need to freaking get the Oliver Rodrigo vinyl. I have so many vinyls I need to get. Beyonce, everyone's dropping an album this year. Billie Eilish, Beyonce, Lana Del Rey, Taylor Swift, and I'm sure Do Doja Cat, SZA. My God, all the girls are coming back. Oh, all the money I gotta spend. This is the front. This is the back. One, two, three. She looks good here. Imagine seeing that face from across like a room. Intimidation. Oh my. Okay, so she's in the same le uh, leotard. Why are you sitting like that, Tay? That doesn't even look comfortable. So again, we've got the poster booklet thing with all the track, oh, not it being the exact same photo. Okay, these are different, I think. The pictures, no, they're not. I mean, cool, you gave us different LPs, but the booklets could have been different too, like more incentive to buy all four, you know? Okay, so the books are the exact same. Let's see the record now, I guess. Yeah, that's all that's in here. And then the purple, oh. <laughs> this is beautiful. Come on, babe, don't be shy, come out. Oh my God. Do you even see the marble? Can you, can you tell the marble? Uh, it doesn't really show up very well on camera, but it's gorgeous, man. I wish you could, you could get a better glimpse. Uh. No, it's, it's not, in person, it's crazy. It's so bright. Oh, it's be oh my God, up against the light, it's crazy. It's crazy! Oh, this is beautiful. I like this one more than the orange one. This is gorgeous. Seriously, the camera does not do it justice how beautiful this record is. I think this is my favorite record. No, I had a red one. I don't, I think it was the anti one, but this is one of my favorites that I've um, unboxed. Gold. That is a great picture. That's a great outfit. I love the color scheme. I love her facial expression and her hair. Maybe I do like the retro vibe, actually. I just feel like it didn't really match what Midnight's was, in, in my opinion. You give me your opinion, but I feel like Midnight's didn't give retro 70s. Um, if, it, if we wanted that, we should have had like a Fleetwood Mac sound, you know what I mean? But anyways, guys, that wraps it up for my Taylor Swift finals. Now let's get into my two Lana Del Rey's. Starting off with Born to Die, one of my favorite albums by her. <sighs> Lana Del Rey is just, like I tattooed her name on my body. That's how much I love this woman. And I feel like it's only fair to do both Lana and Taylor together since they're besties anyway. If Blake Lively was out here dropping music, we'd be unboxing her too. 
And I think this, uh, this vinyl is actually one of the ones I've had for the longest. And I'm more of just a collector as in, I think they're beautiful projects. But I was like, now that I have my vinyl record player, I have more reason to open them. Now this one doesn't have anything special on the front. There's no like sticker or anything. So I'm just gonna toss that to the side. Right? It's crazy, like the progression her career has had and how she has changed. Like we grew up with one image of her and I feel like she's kind of changed from that, but like in the best way. Like it's in a, a way that you just go along on the musical journey and character journey with her. Okay, we've got a poster cool and on the back it has all the songs and their lyrics my favorite song from this is definitely radio basic bitch i know yeah that's all that's in there then we oh i see roses i wish you roses and roses oh let's see first oh it's beautiful it, this gives Lana Del Rey a little basic, but like edgy. That is Lana. Um, so yeah, it's I, I like it. It's simple. It just has an A on it and the white roses. Very dramatic, very alternative. You don't really have to do much. I love the ones that go all out. Like we had Lavender Marble Record from um, Midnight. But then you can just have a simple black LP with roses. And it matches the character of the artist, you know? Get your last in there. Okay, and then on the back again is just the songs. So there wasn't much going on in this one, but I feel like it makes sense for what it is. Long Ago Ray Born to Die. I wouldn't expect it to be full of a bunch of stuff. This album gives alternative, depressed, smoking a cigarette, bad bitch. Now you, the budget is much higher, so you better be filled with stuff. Do you hear me, well, Ocean's Boulevard? I'll throw you under the damn boulevard. Okay, she's thick. She's thick. Let's do this. Uh, uh. I need to get a better way of opening these. There's a tunnel under. Come on, bitch. Under Ocean's Boulevard. Don't forget me. I loved her concert. And again, there's no sticker, just like something about Target and it being exclusive. They say everything's exclusive, and then they drop a new version the next day. Anyways, I'm just saying in general. Jack Antonoff, he's everywhere, this guy. Icon of pop music. Okay, so we have, obviously, the iconic cover. Oh, I have to make sure that there's no titties out for this. This is Lana Del Rey. I don't want to get demonetized. Um, titties out, but they're in a bra, so it's okay. This is thick. She's th the budget. What is this? Oh, this is the LP itself. Okay, the first pocket is the LP. Ooh. Ooh. A red haze of the ocean. Okay, so there's two two records. We're gonna get into that, but first let's pull out the booklet. Oh. I mean, again, oh. Okay. Yeah, it's just a poster. Did you know that there's a tunnel under the ocean? But why did we use the dare font? Dare not to do it. Anyway. So yeah, it's actually so far just that poster, I think. And now let's get into the LPs themselves. Which maybe there will be some. Who are these people? Take Lana Del Rey fan, take Lana Del No, I just don't know these people. Who are these people? Also, why I wasn't expect Jack Antonoff. I just was not expect, this is something Doja Cat would do. Okay, that's where my mind is at. And then you got a retro background. Like this is giving Scarlet tour merch with the Photoshop. But anyways, ooh, she's beautiful. She is gorgeous, she is beautiful. It's like a, a reddish pink, like bubblegum pink. It's pretty. In my opinion, it does not really, it matches Lana, but it doesn't match the album. OK. 
Okay. And then let's open the other one. This one has all the songs on it. And some industrial tubes. Okay. Oh, and it's the exact same LP. That's it. All right, well, a bit underwhelming for, I thought we were gonna get a lot more than that considering how thick on the record is, but I guess not. At the end of the day, it's about profit, not so much about spending the coin, I guess. But in other vinyl unboxings, there have been a lot of goodies. Like they get creative with the, the packaging, there's different posters, there's different things per variation of record that you buy. Which I feel like the only critique I have for Taylor's Midnight is that the booklet was the exact same. Like that was such a waste. But the vinyls themselves, like that purple one blew the orange one out of the water. So I think that was worth the variant. As well as I guess creating the clock in the back, but at the same time it kind of does give money grab. Which is okay, that's the whole point, it serves its purpose. I don't judge these artists really anymore for doing shit like that because at the end of the day, we're here to consume the art that they give and their gift in return is money, monetization, viewership. So I'm not really mad about the different variants of stuff anymore. My thing is I just want it to be worth my while, which again, I love these two artists. So I feel like regardless, I'm happy with them. Um, it just would have been nice to, like if Melly Martinez, she's a way smaller artist than both of them. And she gives for every vinyl. Like you can tell she puts in the thought, the effort. And so I just, I don't know. I wish that there was more within the LPs this episode. But hey, give me your opinions. Let me know down below. And again, thank you one by one for sponsoring this video and giving me a record player. See you guys in the next video. Bye.